Alright, Zach is now done with his announcements. Uh, quick rundown for people in the chat. I have not... If you want to come out to a pre-release, that's fine. Uh, that does not change the, uh, the fact that the, the power level of this set is not as high as, say, Return to Ravnica was. That's what I'm saying. So like I said, uh, this is not the most exciting part of our evening, but we do see Jordan sprawl out his packs as uh, Scotty just goes right into uh, laying out his white cards. Uh, clearly he opened up a white seal pool, went straight to his white pack, and has no <laughs> intention of playing any other color. Uh, got in a crow and horse. So far, uh, not looking too impressive anywhere else. He got the uh, the release promo, which is neat. I don't know if that card's any good, but it's definitely neat. Graveyard Recursion has the potential to be very powerful, but could also be not very powerful. And his two rares so far are Nykthos and a Crow and Horse. And a uh, the black XX graveyard guy. So I assume that we're just pulling out some uh, some good splash cards here on Scotty's side. Honestly, I haven't been looking at what Jordan's been pulling out. Gate crash last year, and look how that turned out. I I still rip gate crash, unless you're playing Obsidat or Shocklands. What are you playing from that set? Night Howler. Thank you. And 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 by the way, chat, this is your job tonight. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll be trying my best to identify some of these cards, but you're going to be picking up the slack more than, uh, more than I am. Jordan, not too happy about his, uh, his scry land he got. As he pounds the table, throws his cards into a, into a mass disorder. I don't know if Scotty's excited about the five collar Chromanticore that he got. Scotty got a foil. I don't know what that card does, but it is foil. But regardless of whether Scotty is excited about his Chromanticore or not, he's left it in his mono white pile of cards. Jordan pulled on out all of his uh, Minotaurs. So we're going to let these guys continue building their sealed pools. This process should take about five minutes. Ooh, and Scotty drew the black blue god. That has to be one of the best. <laughs> Jordan matches him by pulling his own mythic, Modomi the Ageless. That has to be one of the best cards you can pull uh, in this. Jeez. If that's, not, if that's not the best bomb in this set, I don't know what is. Now Scotty, of course, has the deck builder's dilemma of having a blue-black bomb in front of his stack of mono-white cards. Yes, that was the Mill God. Jordan pulling two lands. Uh, pro, pro seal pull opening advice. Dual lands usually the, one of the worst cards you can. You can open. Not always the worst, as they can make an extremely powerful two-color deck even more powerful, but uh, usually on the low low end of the curve. So you see Zach taking a picture of the foil perforos that Jordan opened.
Hmm? We have 21. I thought you said 21. It's like, Tony wasn't even in it. They're playing the finals. Are they going to play the seal after they're done, or? No, no, no. They're, I think Nick and Nick and Alec have to get home because Logan has to work in the morning. Oh, okay. Scotty opened a Phoenix and has a stack of mono white cards. Yeah, and then <laughs> Jordan opened a foil part for us. And Chris that. Bryant behind him also opened a foil part for us. I opened a foil part for us at the uh, seal PTQ in Columbus. Everybody opens a foil. That's all you do. And I quickly vendored that after uh, after my one-two drop from the tournament. <laughs> How much? Is six bucks? No, it was fifteen. Oh. Four per row? Four per by less than 15. It, he wanted 13, but, yeah, I got the extra two out of him. It was, uh... Hey, hard, to hard bargain. It was cranny. Oh, uh, yeah. And it pissed him off so much. <laughs> I was like, he's like 13, and I said, well, King's offering me 15. He's like, fine, I'm not going to argue over that. Yeah, cranny can be a very unpleasant gentleman. <laughs> Okay. Collecting collecting my thoughts. Scotty putting together what seems like a terrible mono white deck. Figuring out what color he wants to slash. Jordan putting together some red minotaurs with one black minotaur. I'm assuming that Jordan's putting together these minotaurs because he has a rage monger. Like I can I can get behind one to build around your perforos. But having one mana I don't even know if Felheim Minotaur is good at one mana. <laughs> if you have a Rage Monger in play, much less at three mana. As we see Jordan laying out his combatics of joint assault double strike guy as a combat trick uh, titan strength and what looks like uh, dragon mantle or arena athlete for those just joining us this is a uh, it's JB JB letting the players they cannot trade cards with other players in their suit pools. We are watching two competent limited players building their Born of the Gods seal pools. We're going to get three rounds of sweet Born of the Gods pre release action in tonight. And then call it a night. Matches should be underway if anyone wants to set a timer. In about 20 minutes, as these players probably have about 10 minutes left to deck build. Get everything set up, have the tournament printed out, deck list, their pairings list printed out, cut up, ready to go. So if we're 12.28 right now, probably should be getting underway. About quarter till, ten till, and until then, wow, actually Scott, I, I want to sit in here, I want to go out there to watch Scotty build a seal pool, but that's silly, as I can just watch it in here. I don't think Scotty has a good splash collar. Like if, if we're splashing, I mean not splash collar, a good support collar. Splashing, uh, 
I don't know what he would want to splash into this, but uh, as a as a good support color, it is decent. Like it's it's a simple. It's not going to be a it's not going to be a draft deck. It's it's going to be somewhat weaker. Um, but whenever we're splashing Underworld Journey, Rescue from the Underworld, and uh, Disciple, like I can see, leave that Disciple in there if we're gonna. You know, run a couple grip ties in our blue. Scotty just laying out all of his options here. Stick with two colors the best you can. I agree there, but sometimes your steel pool doesn't support what you want it to do. Jordan just laying out. All those black and red cards. Starting to sleeve them up too. So we see his uh, his tricks are some joint assaults, some Titan strengths. I don't know what that red guy is that has a big rock. That's the first card we're going to look at tonight, guys. What is that red creature beside his foil perforos that has a big rock? Somebody is stomping through this door. That is a Fairgax, Fairjax giant. Sorry, my Greek's a little rusty. Five mana, three three, tribute two. If you don't pay the tribute, it knocks you on the head for five damage. Seems pretty good. Seems like it's going to be a 3 3 for five mana more often than not, but there are board states that Jordan can get into with his extremely fast red black deck that you will not be able to afford paying five life. Big closer in the sleeve. Fanatic Mogus. If anyone doesn't know what that card does, you've been living under a rock that doesn't have standard games played underneath it. I don't know what I was going for there. So Jordan got some bombs. I like the way Jordan's deck looks. He's got a very clear plan. He wants to be attacking for, you know, let's say 6-7 damage by turn 4, turn 5. He's got some reach with a couple little cute combat tricks. Probably probably the best red combat trick in uh, Joint Assault. Or whatever that, whatever the one mana target two creatures uh, red pump spell is. And then he's got one of the best red cards out of both sets, which is Perforos, not only gives his deck reach, gives his uh, guys a semi-anthem effect, and if the board state allows it, a 6-5 beater. What is that Shining Cerulean symbol? That, I think, is a Polish Chamalis. Uh, Polish Shamali's Kiora Ultimate Token. Kiora's Ultimate makes your 9 9 Krakens, and I think that in plans for the pre release, Jordan printed up these, uh, these cute little tokens just in case he ever opened up a Kiora. They are building their decks right now. We've been at this for about 10-15 minutes, so not too much longer to go, guys. Scotty not able to figure out what he wants to splash. Is that two Nessian Asps, or is that two of the... No, that's two of the Bestow Reach guys. 
I was about to say, if he has two Nessian Asters, he's not splashing green. I'm going to go there and smack him. Still, two of the Bestow Reach guys is, uh, <laughs> is almost enough. And is that a Voyaging Sander, too? Yeah, man, you're definitely playing green. It's just a matter of how much green do you want to play. For those who uh, are not habitual sealed players, the processes that we're going through right now, very good, uh, very good uh, layout of stages in the sealed pool building process. Uh, Scotty trying to figure out what, what the rest of his deck is going to consist of. Jordan has already figured out what he wants to play and is now counting how many red cards he has, how many black cards he has, and is going to uh, see how many mountains and uh, swamps he wants to add to his deck to try to cast those spells. Pretty much the last thing that you want to do. I'm going to open a swamp. Look at that. He gets to play, play with a lane that he opened. How's the closet? The closet's fine. The closet's awful lonely right now. Zach's out there being a being a diligent and dutiful tournament organizer. Leaving me to fend for myself. Alright, so Jordan looking like he's just about done here. Oh, look at this. The true champion that Jordan is is going to pull out his unhinged swamps. No, right, we're just about done here. Scotty figuring out what he wants to run with his white cards. I don't think we're ever going to get past that point. And Jordan pimping out his lands. So we'll be back. Continue to watch this. And within the next 15 minutes, we will have live pre release Board of the Gods action coming your way.
Watchers on you. We have 177 viewers. Uh, and Jace Player 77 in the chat. Yeah, 77, 77. You see it? I see the connections. Wait for it. What? Mm -hmm. Alright. Give me stacks of cards to look at. Give me all your red cards. All my red. All right, so we got Jordan in here. We just watched him build his silk pool. Hi. I just looked through his other cards. Look, we saw some green in there. This seems like a uh, a pretty solid build around build around card. No matter what your red is, if you can land this perforos, seems pretty good. We got one Minotaur. I like this guy. Yeah. Was this the guy that you were talking? Yes. Okay. I like him because he's got very good. He's a one drop, and he also has very good bestow. This card's not bad. Three, a three two for three is fine, but it also gives all your guys trample. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about archetype of aggression. We saw we saw this in your sealed pool. Fanatic, to go along with the Perforos, that's uh, that's called a standard deck. <laughs> Coordinated assault, Titan strength. These are your only two combat tricks in uh, red. You got uh, two Titan strengths. Yeah. There. I also got the other one that. Played, uh, the other first striker from Born of the Gods, so I'm going to play test with Scotty and see what I think about it. What do you think about this guy? Two, two mana, one one flying haste. You really don't have, uh, well, besides you, Perforos, you don't have a lot of ways to, uh... Honestly, I wouldn't play if I wasn't as hyper-aggressive as I I just want to hit the ground running. Mm-hmm. That's... Temper Cyclops, never a bad sealed card. We saw you got two of these, are you only playing one? So, just one giant, one two headed Cerberus, which obviously goes good with uh, all of your pump spells. So, how many Minotaurs did you end up with total? Four or five. I was joking about this card. I don't know if it's, this is a good one mana card. <laughs> good one mana, but it's obviously fine for sealed. We got another Eidolon. We do have some pump spells for for this guy. He got the other plus one plus one, so Enchanted Creature has Intimidate and a Cycles. New card from uh, Born of the Gods. I'll have to try to remember what this one does. Grizzly Transformation gives your creature Intimidate and Cycles. And, you know, this is uh, this is the same guy. What, the flying one? Uh, Titan Strength. That's the same guy. Neat. I didn't know. Weight of the Underworld and Titan Strength. Look familiar? That's because it's the same freaking dude. <laughs> Blew your mind. What does this card even do? Enchanted Creature? Okay. So, it's a bad Raider Perforous. <laughs> this, this deck and Pharaoh Sealed obviously would like one or two Raider Perforous, which is this spell, but it does two more damage. Last of the Whip, never a bad uh, limited card. Sip of Hemlock, okay. You never want more than one of these in your deck that stops playing creatures at four mana. What is this? Hag. Ooh. Pains for the draws. It's a 3 4 2. Wow, that card's really good. Fate Unraveler. So we don't have to worry about our fates being tangled up anymore. Whenever an opponent draws a card, deals one damage to them, and it's a 3 4 for 4. The card is really good. Alright. I got Swell in. So let's see. I haven't revealed this uh, ultimate last card yet. Two, three, four. It's a human. Four Minotaurs for our sweet Minotaur pseudo lord, which is Rage Monger. Going to make uh, going to make some of your dudes cost one mana. You're going to get to play some one mana two threes and some one mana. Four twos that have haste and then become two twos or whatever. I don't I know. Didn't, I didn't get the wool collar, which made me really sad. Yeah, not getting a, a red black uncommon out of two packs isn't. It was two packs. <laughs> but, yeah. There's only two packs of uh, Theros, right? Three. It's three it's and then two Born of the Gods and a pack. Did, the, did your collar pack have um, Theros cards in it? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's all Born of the Gods. Okay, well, that makes sense then. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll kill people very fast. Yeah, uh, red red black minotaurs is uh, 
or red black aggro is always a very good limited uh, a sealed cho good sealed choice is not really ever a, a uh, it's it's worse in draft because the decks are much better in draft and yeah. uh, you know there might be a player with four last breaths sitting at the table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you never you never know. Uh, but most decks in drafts can handle like your two threes for three mana yeah. and your your four twos for four mana. Stuff like that. But in sealed, you usually just kill people on turn five. <laughs> That's the hope. Skull cleavers. I remember from Theros, Skull Cleaver was pretty good. Yeah, Skull Cleaver with the uh, the other Minotaur Lord that gives your guys uh, plus two and haste or something. plus two plus on haste. Yeah, yeah, that uh, that killed a lot of people whenever I ran it. <laughs> so, all right, get out there and uh, play test with Scotty. Good luck in the uh, tournament. Thanks for sharing. No problem.